you're going to want to start by cutting down your cardstock. So you want your cardstock to be three and a half inches tall and 7.25 inches long. Once you've got your cardstock cut down, you'll want to take your cutting mat. Ideally, you can. It's, it's nice to have a cutting mat that has the measurements on it. Now we're going to make score marks and I'm going to start using the left edge of my paper here. So the first score mark that you want to make is at the one and a half inch point. So from the left edge, you want to measure in one and a half inches and score down the paper. The next score line you want to make is at the two inch point. And then one more, you're going to want to score at the two and a half inch mark. So it should look something like this. Now I'm actually going to just turn my paper around and do the same measurements from the left edge. So I'm going to go in an inch and a half. And then two inches. and then two and a half inches. So now it should look something like that. The next part is pretty simple. You're just gonna be folding at the score marks, but you wanna alternate your folds. And so in order for it to have this sort of like ledge and then it drops down into the space where the the card actually sits we're going to want to do sort of like a square fold here so we're going to start by folding the first flap down and under like that then the next flap we're also going to fold down and under like that so now it's created this sort of squared off ledge and then the next one we're going to fold up. And so it should look something like this. So from the top view, it'll look something like that. And then we're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on the other side. So again, we're folding the first flap down and under the second flap down and under, and then the last flap we're going to fold up. So now you should have something that looks something like this. And because this box comes up that inch and a half, this is going to nestle in nicely along the edge of the box and it will take the height of the box um, for this edge right here and this edge on the other side. So I'm gonna show you how to fill this. So you can choose to keep the batting inside of the box. That kind of helps with just keeping this paper um, from sliding around and stuff. Um, also, you could, if you wanted to add some adhesive to this, you're welcome to do that along these flaps as well. Um, but all you want to do is you want to take that first flap and just tuck it into your box and make sure that it slides down the edge of the box as close to the edge as possible. This is where that adhesive, like I said, could come in handy. And then you're going to take the other end and you're going to do the same thing and you're going to tuck it in and try to get it down the other edge of the box. And because of the measurement being exactly what it needs to be, 
it should fit in there quite nicely like this and it'll be slightly snug which is good because it'll create a little bit of tension and avoid shifting around and so then you can just take your gift card and nestle it in nicely right inside the box and you can use a little glue sticker on the back too if you don't want it to shift around anymore and then you would just cover it up so the nice thing about this is that it is just like a little bit of a nicer presentation when they open up the box and they see that the card fits just nice in that little crevice there and again you can change the color of the cardstock you can obviously you know wrap the box and make it nice and um, festive if you want depending on the holiday or the occasion but hopefully that's a nice little presentation and a little bit something a little bit different for presenting your gift cards.